Any game, any weapon, any season, just hunt. Welcome to this week's choice. And this week's choice, we're doing something a little different. It's called chroma, chroma key. key. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's where you can, well, good example. Outside is minus 10 with the wind chill. It's cold and we've been having snow and everything else, so it's terrible. So now but we're chroma playing with key this allows chroma you to be key. Yeah. brought in. It's kind of like, like this week we're going to Anacostia like this. Did you see that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, and talk about Anacosta is, you know, you've seen a lot of shows they've done in Anacosta yes. up in Quebec. And it's an island where they're, to give you an idea, it's over 100 miles long by 35 miles wide, something like that. Mm -hmm. Their last deer count was over 166,000 deer. There's a lot of deer on this island. This is what we have to call the fantasy island of deer hunting. Yes. You know, but, but when you say fantasy island, <laughs> It honestly, it opens up the doors for me to make lots and lots of funny comments about Fantasy Island and the plane and your height. But this week, we want you to look for the 10 point logo. That's your lucky logo this week. So that's Can what you, you need to keep an eye on. Out, Fred? And now just we just want to start hey, be flying you somewhere else. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Let's just get going with the footage and you just need to zip it. But I want to tell you something. Yes. We found a place that truly brings back the fun. Okay, but of the deer more hunting. you talk, the less they can see. The fun. The less they can see. Annie Costa. Okay. I'm going back. It's 802. What time's the flight? The flight is at 12.45. It's an international flight. 12.45? Why are we leaving at 802? Because we have a two and a half hour drive to the airport, and then we have to get our luggage checked in and everything, and it's international. You gotta be there at least 90 minutes ahead of time. Vic! Okay, wait, because last week we went to Texas and we got there like 50 minutes before the flight took off. And, and we it, made it. it yeah, was but fine. at 45 minutes before your flight takes off, they're no longer going to accept your luggage. We made it by five minutes. And so I got all, all stressed we needed out. To do so it was be 50 minutes early instead of four hours. That was domestic. Oh, this is a domestic. Yeah, this is a, this is a domestic. This is going to be a domestic. a domestic. Explain to me why we had to be here so early today. I'd really like to know. It was so you'd have your time to be on the phone calling everyone like you always do. When you sit here at the airport, oh, you're on the I just made forever. one phone call and she just was on the phone with her sister Chrissy for an hour and 47 minutes. But that's not on tape. An hour and 47 minutes it talking hour to one sister about everything that she talks Chrissy. every day. I love my sister Chrissy. Not my fault you don't have anyone else to talk to for an hour and 40 minutes a day. We are at Prop Air. We are now going to hop on a charter to get up to Anacostia. As I guess we have to stop in Quebec City first to pick up Gregory. And then we're going up to Anacostia Island. And if everything works out right, we'll be hunting this afternoon. How are you doing, sir? Very good, very good. Thank you. Good. Nice to see you again. Yeah. Hey, Gregory. How are you? Good to see you. Hey, that whole thing? Good. So everything was perfect up to now. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. good. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yes, everything perfect uh, except uh, except the clothing. <laughs> we thought maybe uh, no you were issue. gonna like not show up and we were gonna go without you. No. <laughs> this is what you could expect here at Anacosta Island. Look at that. Look at that deer. There's some good deer in there. Yeah. Mmm. Looking good, man. My son will love that in his room. My son's gonna love this. What a, what a rush, eh? The deer are everywhere, eh? <laughs> a little shooter buck right outside the window is reading it. Whoosh, welcome back. We're back in the frame. We're I was kind of hoping that Freddie could like put like a beach scene behind me. I could like laying on the beach or something instead. Wouldn't that be fun? Come on, it would be fun. Key your out, Fred. <laughs> Let's get back into hunting, shall we? Shall we? Gregory from Tourism. Yes. Has a blast. What is wrong with him? Let's just roll the footage away. Look at that. It's so wonderful. So this morning, we had big adventures. We did some ETV during maybe one hour on the beach and also in the nice trail. And right now we are just beside a river. It's full of tracks and trails. And right now, just in front of us, 
They are three or maybe four deer. Due to the density of numbers on the island, I mean, that pie ball right there, I might have shot that. I ain't never shot a pie ball. Gregory, what do you mean? You don't know. You don't know what? Shoot him. Get it over with. You got two tags. Let's go have a blast. I'm not sure, but I think I made a mistake. It was eight points. In fact, it was not very big, but it was eight points. And because we can shoot two. are safe. Okay, good, me too. I'm ready. Ready? Oh my god. Oof. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Great, great shot. Oh. Good approach, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my word. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Now I can do that for true. You know? Look, my hand. Oh my god. Yes, it's a six point.
Oh. points wow wow i was sure that it was a six point so it's a very nice surprise <laughs> oh wow it's a nice one welcome back to the choice now you're not going to believe what happens ralph oh this is called just karma this is called getting even you know like do unto others here this is what happens is we go up to Anacosti and what do you mean and, and, even? I, and I don't want to spoil the footage, but you have to see what happens to Ralph and the deer. Well, you, but we also have to explain in the village. Yeah, on Anacosti, you cannot hunt. Right. There's so like, these deer are like literally 10 miles. domesticated. Right. I, really, they. I mean, they are domesticated. But they still They're... got even with you. But why? What have I done? It's your own fault. Why? They're getting even. They're ganging up. They have these little antennas or something on them with all the other deer in all of the world. She's whacked. <laughs> so, so everyone understand, this isn't real. It really is. In Anacosta here, these deer are just so plentiful. How amazing is this? Little does he know. <laughs> hey, hey, ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> That's plastic! Give me a <laughs> thing! You bit my finger! <laughs> Son of a bleep! <laughs> this is it! You bit my finger! Look at that! He literally. <laughs> I found this on the ground. I think your fingers are. This is what the deer oh, had. Oh, no! This is the tip of your finger. Look at the chew marks on it. Well, at least, at least it came out. I feel better. <laughs> oh, good. I felt yeah. bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice deer, huh? He's a good one. Yeah, he's a good one. Gilles brought us along. We were right along the coast. And, I mean, I can't tell you how many deer we just saw. And they're, they're all over. We got a great buck feeding on the sea. Well, no, he's trying to get down to the shoreline. We're going to use this structure, get up here, and maybe get a shot. This is awesome. <laughs> I think the cold has affected all of our brains. <laughs> <laughs> He's going. That's the way you got. Woo! You got <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Our first Anacosta buck. My deer just lost both his racks. Both, not one. Not one. What kind of luck can this be? I get mauled by a deer. Whoa. My buck just lost both his racks. <laughs> As I shot, he ran, fell, got up, ran and fell. And Poor Ralph, he can't win for losing. Here, do you want me to help you pick these up? <laughs> hey, Jill, could you help me? Sure. Here, you hold this side. <laughs> I'll hold this side. That's a, look at that deer. This is my Anacosta first, my first ever Anacosta buck. And. Your first ever shed antler at the same time. Well, let me show you, ready? You hold the rack. <laughs> Welcome back to the choice. My finger still hurts. Get over it, it was three months ago. Over three months ago, come on. 
Can you it's my turn. Out? Stop. Can, it's you, my turn now. It's mine. My, 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 everybody understand this? Mine. It's me. It's Vicky. It's ooh. It's E. It's we. It's Vicky. Pretty soon it's going to be like Vicky's the choice. Am I the choice? Not Am lately. I your choice? No. <gasps> Did you hear that? Fred, key her out. Give you a couple bucks. You, this I, all could be I'm gone. Hurt. Right? You know what? I can be gone. Watch this one. Second day here up on Anacosta Island. Ralph shot a really good buck, a good Anacosta buck up here. And when we went to recover, his horns fell off. It is the middle of December, and it's one of those things that you play. We understand that the venison on these deer is unbelievable, that it's just so, hey, <laughs> it's a good buck. But we're hoping today I get a better one. And maybe his horns will stay on. <laughs> You got busted again, girl. That was a nice 11 pointer. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, I see the other one's just to the left of the one that's on the opening. Yes. Which one's the eight? The one to the right or the one to the left? The one to the right. Okay, the big body one. The one. The one up on the step, there, there is a little step to the right. Please, Lord, make those antlers fall off. Please. smoke I couldn't see anything through the scope but yeah I was like and then you guys were like yeah <laughs> thank you Joe <laughs> thank you Ralph and I we've been on this island now in Acosta Island for two days this is our second day of hunting and we had this discussion last night after the first day after he shot that beautiful buck of what an experience we have had in an adventure to the point where we would love to just even come back here just to hunt. There is a mystique about this island. It, it makes us go back to thinking about deer hunting for the first time, the adventure. It's, it's an experience that I can tell you I've never had to see so many animals and to just enjoy the wilderness. We found, we found a new place that I think if they'll have us back, I believe Ralph and I would come here every year. It is just absolutely beautiful here. Well, as you can see, this is the true fantasy island of deer hunting. There you go again Annie with that Costa fantasy is, yeah. What'd you say? There you go again with that fantasy island. Yes, it is. The you know, talking about fantasy is, with this, all this cool stuff is, Vic, you know, you say I never take you anywhere. Watch, let's go to New York. Woo! Let's go to Alaska. Oh, I'm so tired of climbing the mountains. Let's go shopping. Hey, nah, yeah. not going there. No. Nice going. But we sure hope you enjoyed this week's show. And you know what? Next week we're going back to Anacosta. And for why? part two. For part two. Because we had a lot of fun up there and we've just... I can't... It, it is, right? I mean, yeah. it, it, it puts back the fun of deer hunting. It's There's right. no pressure. It doesn't have to be this big. There's so many deer. The opportunities are endless. And it was absolutely beautiful up there. It really was. I mean, all the scenics and everything, it was just a lot of fun. We hope that you looked for this week's lucky logo, which was 10 point. If you did find it, you need to log on to huntingnet.com slash the choice, put in the information, send it out to us. And we are putting the names of the winners on the website. So you just need to go there and check it out. So we want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week in Anacostia again. <laughs>